All right, guys, we're on step number two of hip hop song from start to finish. Okay, step number two, we're going to do verse and chorus, uh, rough draft. Okay, and so from step number one, we already color coded our beat right here. And then now we're going to start the actual songwriting process. So uh, most people, they will start writing their lyrics on a notepad. But I don't because I'm Gustavo Adolfo Uribe and I've developed this process over three years. And I got a really cool process to get your songs from start to finish really fast. Okay. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is, okay, this song, this beat is called Turn Nasty. So it gives you kind of like an idea of where the song should probably go. But you're an artist. You can figure it out. But I'm just giving you some little little advice nuggets okay so we know that um the hook or the chorus is right here the purple one <clears throat> and it's turnt nasty right here so we're gonna want to have a hook or something that kind of gives a vibe of what the song is about so we're starting with the hook or the chorus to give us an idea listen to it see what kind of ideas we can get and the cool thing is with Ableton we can drag this right here and we can loop it enable that loop oh nice nasty yeah oh okay now we're just gonna freestyle some ideas see what works here You know, for hooks and choruses, if you have a singer that you know, you could always do a rough draft and then give it to a singer and then they could bang it out, right? So we're just doing a rough draft of our songwriting. Okay, so let's um, let's see what we can come up with. Okay, so I'm just rambling here, trying to get some ideas. All right, she's nasty with that, uh. She's nasty with that, uh. So nasty with that, wrong. Give a bump, no, 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 no. So drink a round the mountain up, what? Seeing a round the mountain up, what? Down and round or not, what? Down my now or not, uh. Down my now, she's nasty with that summer down. She's nasty, I saw some summer, she's nasty with the rump, no, freak nasty. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Okay, so I just freestyled something just came out of my head right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like an A-B type of hook chorus with a call and response on the second part. So watch this. I'm going to record this. da 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 ba no no da ba dra ba no no uh sa ba dra ba ba no with the drama, drama, bamba, uh, drama, nah, she's nasty. Something, something, she's nasty. A uh, son, something, something, she's nasty. With the drama, dump, she's nasty. Uh, zaba, round, and round up. Uh, zaba, round, and round up. The thumb, the thumb, the thumb, the thumb, the With the drama, dump, the thumb, the uh, drama, nah, she's nasty. With that seamless rim, she's nasty. Some of drama, sound, she's nasty. Drama, round, but not freak nasty. Uh, and then it's going to go into the verse. So, uh, again, so we got this hook chorus part with like a contrast B chorus or a mini bridge, however you want to think about it. In this context, we're going to use this whole thing as the hook chorus. And for my actual hook chorus that I just did, I have two parts. I have this A section and this B section, A and B. And this B is a call and response. Now notice when I recorded this, I didn't really use any real words. You're going to say like, Gustavo, you didn't really say anything. I know. I freestyled it. I freestyled the flow because this is part of the process that I do is I get the flow that I like. So I get the rhythm, the intonation, the melody, 
and then I write the words to it. So let's hear it again. Da 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 ba dum da, da ba dra ba dum da, uh, sa ba dra ba ba na, with the dra ba dra ba ba ba, uh, da ba na, she's nasty. Some some she's nasty, a sa some na some she's nasty. With the dra ba dum, she's nasty. Uh, sa ba dra ba dum da. So notice how I kind of did all the parts, right? So when I go uh uh, that's like ad lib stuff. Now when I go like some some she's nasty. So I'm assuming that's that's call and response. So I'm gonna say something. She's nasty. Some some she's nasty. So somebody's gonna say she's nasty, or I'm gonna say she's nasty, and then we can layer it and make it really cool. And I'll show you guys how to do that in the future steps. But right now we're doing step number two, first and chorus rough draft. Okay, so we got our ver our chorus in like what? How long did that take? Was that what a minute? Okay, I just banged it out. I just made it up from the top of my dome. This is unscripted. I'm saving this, unscripted. Okay, so we got our verse chorus. Now we have an idea of. We've already did like a third of our songwriting process because. I can just take this and copy and paste it. So I'm going to copy, right click, paste, right click, paste. We got our verse chorus for our whole song. Look at that. Bam. And now we can just do our verses. One, two, three verses. Okay. So the song she's nasty so this song title could be called she's nasty or something like that whatever you want to call it it's your song right so she's nasty that's like okay so now when we do our verses we have to think of something that kind of goes with the verse or excuse me with the chorus slash hook um so if now this this might be a little bit more trickier we're gonna freestyle the verses and and all that stuff but i want to show you guys something really quick now if you go to chateausholo.com our website and you go to our youtube channel we have or you can go through here we can go beat store music production tips it takes you right there um however you want to do it so on our website we on our saved playlist we have this right here the whiteboard and that's me right there and i'm just showing you uh like a on a whiteboard like a school um type of format uh i have all this free info and i have right here how i write rap lyrics how i write song lyrics overview why your song sucks that's like a like a troubleshooting whatever and i talk about songwriting and for example there's an intro that i have you know and like if you listen to what i'm saying here okay and i'll explain i'm Chorus talking about all this stuff that we're talking about in more depth and there's like poetry and stuff like that concepts that we use in songwriting that uh like metaphors and like scansion and all this stuff personification rhyme scheme i go through all of this stuff in super detail so if 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 something doesn't make sense check out these videos man it's like really helpful and anyway so we're gonna go back to this right here ableton um now what what are we what can we do right here okay this is me unscripted off the dome now I'm gonna think of uh, I got I got an idea. Okay, so we got this hook. It's called "She's Nasty," right? So how about we make verses that are like little antidotes of "She's Nasty." You know, like uh, we could either do like a two life crew, like like little antidotes, which like little stories about how they bang some chick or something like that. Uh, like uh, "Me So Horny." That's kind of like how that song uh writing is done. They have like little stories of how they bang some chick, right? Or like uh, Funky Cold Medina, if you heard that song. It's like old school old school rap songs where he's talking about banging some chicks in different c scenes, 
you know um or you can do a like long story which you can do like little snippets and they go in like kind of like a chronological order so like let's say you meet the girl in the club here you bang the chick here and then you fall in love and get married here or you get divorced whatever you want to talk about that's another way to go you could do like a chronological order right but it's it's going on this hook course it's got a match right so we're we're in in songwriting the hook chorus explains what the song is about and then the verses are like the story of the song right so here's this here's a story part we're going to go to the hook chorus here's another little story part we're going to go to the hook chorus here's a little another story part we're going to go to the hook chorus right so that's something to keep in mind because we don't want to shoot blind here. You know, sometimes, you know, rappers are just, you know, like let's say you're producing rappers, right? And then they come to your house and then they just start writing on a notepad. And then five hours later, you're like trying to teach them how to write a song. <laughs> and you got to be like, no, Cholo, let's use this method right here. And then we're just going to get through it. In five hours, instead of trying to figure it out, you'll already be done. So. We're going to tell tell the rappers or if you're the rapper doing this, it's like, OK, let's freestyle something right here. And we're going to talk about. um, Yeah, let's do the story one or the chronological one. So we meet the chick in the club here. Right. And um, that's kind of what we're going to base this freestyle on. And I'm not going to use words. I'm just going to use the flow. Right. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Let's just listen to that. We'll drop our little looper here. Okay, I'm getting some ideas. I'm listening to the song, I'm getting some ideas. Okay, okay, I think I got it, whatever. Okay, I'm just gonna BS this right here, but let's see how it goes. Okay, all right, let's go, let's do it. And I'm gonna make another audio track. Actually, I have one right here. But if you wanna make a new one, you can just Apple T right there, boom, if you're on Apple or Mac, whatever, and record this. Notice this is one, I'm gonna switch it to two because my mic is on channel two. You gotta, um, that's just for my setup right now. Okay. So there's an echo because I'm going to record. Now let's get into it. Let's just go it raw, unscripted, safe. Okay. Here we go, people. Drop to my knees in the club, chick, please. I'm a ride, simmer, ride. Tell me I want to fly with the freaking side. Come on, I'm a ride, I'm a romp in the club with it. Then I'm a ride when the drum drink a snub with it. Then I'm a ride when the rhyme with the DJ. I'm a drama, then I'm a dripper on the replay. All day, OJ, Monflay, Po Play. Then I want to ride, tell me I'm with that drinks and stuff. I'm on the rhyme, round dream, trying to mink and stuff. Uh huh, some I want to ride with the crutch. Then I ride, some slide. Then I ride, I'm on the ride with the plush. Uh -huh. Tim Rap in my uh. da, 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 da. Can it go da, so, da, 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 There we go. That, Jesus, that was pretty slick. Okay. So, um, like you just go with it. Obviously, I'm not Eminem. I can't, you know, write a verse in two seconds, but we can get there. We can break it down and we can get there. Okay. Let's do off right there. And then we're gonna just kind of clip these ends right here. Now, a cool little technique. Like, obviously, we've already color-coded this, so we know when to shut up, right? When we know when to cadence our verse to make it go into the hook slash chorus, right? We don't have to play guessing games. Like, we know it's 16 bars. We know we need to wrap it up around here. We know the texture changes, you know? And and notice when I'm when I'm doing my verse rap, Every four bars-ish, I'm kind of switching the flow up a little bit. 
That's another trick right there. That's a gold nugget. So let's hear it back. Drop to my knees in the club, chick, please. I'm a ride, simmer, ride. Then I wanna fly with the freaking side. Come on, I'm a ride, I'm a run with the club with it. Then I ride with the drum, drink a snub with it. Then I'm a with the rhyme with the DJ. I'm a drama, I'm a drama, on the replay. All day, OJ, Mon Flay, Po Play. Then I wanna ride, come on, strap with that drinks and stuff. I'm on the ground, round drinks, trying to bink and stuff. Uh huh, some wanna ride with the crutch. Ride, some slide, then my ride, I'm on the ride with the push. Uh, then my ride, in the mind. Uh, da, 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 but no, no. Okay, okay, so notice that, which is kind of interesting, I just freestyled this off the dome, unscripted. And notice, here's something that I just noticed here. I'm cadencing around the fourth bar, right? And I'm t on my second four bars i'm kind of going off my fourth bar now you don't have to do this all the time but notice it sounds really professional right watch just listen to it drop to my knees in the club okay Check. got the same flow got the same I'm flow ride sima ride cadence i want to fly with the freaking side come on over ride number from the club see see that i have the same type of flow right here the same like rhythmic type of flow that i'm using on my cadence and then I'm gonna rock with that for three bars and then I'm gonna switch it up, watch. Come on over ride, I'm gonna run with the club with it. Then I'm gonna ride with the drum, drink a snub with it. Then I'm gonna drive with the rhyme with the DJ. Oh, I'm gonna drive my drum, I'm gonna replay. Cadence, OJ, OJ, Mon Flay. Okay, okay, notice right here, Savaske. I'm on the replay. I say something, something DJ, something, something replay. Then I break that little motif up with the DJ replay, that type of motif, and I use it. And I use it, so it's very, very efficient. Look at that. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on the replay. OJ, OJ, Mon Flay, uh huh. Full play. I'm on, I'm on, ride. Come on, strap with that drinks and stuff. I'm on the round, round drink, trying to bink it. Switch up the flow. I'm on, I'm on, with the crutch. Then I use a little part of that. Some slide. Slow it down. I'm on, I'm on, elongate it. Uh huh. I'm on, ride. Wrap it up. My. Uh huh. Da da da, but no, no. Did you see that? It's like, it's like. I, I, if you just uh, you don't have to think of too much stuff you just use what you got and you could either take little motifs from that or you could, you could stretch it out you know this is composition right here you know composing your verses off the dome unscripted but it's even though I did this in one take I mean you can do you guys can do this too it's not that hard because what I'm doing is like again Again, listen to listen to how I do some type of flow and then I create some type of cadence or whatever and I use the next part that's linked to that. And so it sounds very musical, right? And I didn't have to write a word or, ra or rhyme a word yet. That's the next step. But the flow is there. It sounds musical. It's already done. I could do this method with the second verse in the third verse and on this verse we're talking about the club so when i freestyle the flow i'm going to use words that are club related right like drinks dj um what else do i do let's listen to it again drop to my knees in the club chick please i'm a ride simmer ride do i want to fly with the freaking side okay, okay, we talk about freaks the club with the club with it with the drum drink snub with it snub with it i don't know what that means dj i'm on my dumb trip on the replay all day oj mon flay po play come up on a ride come up strap with that drinks and stuff i'm on the round round drink trying to bink and stuff uh-huh someone want to ride with the crutch okay so in this verse like i said i use drinks as a word club dj chick you know stuff that's club oriented right in this verse because in this verse we're going to talk about how we meet the girl in the club in the second verse we can do the same technique and use words that are like Okay, let's say you fall in love with the girl or you take her home or something like that. It develops. The story develops. And then in this verse, you guys fall in love, have kids, get divorced, or whatever. You know, I'm just making a joke. But that could really happen in real life, okay? So that's what songwriting is all about, right? You got your theme in the hook chorus and you got your story in the verses. Okay, so now... 
we're gonna as because this is a demo i'm not gonna do the other verses right now you know because that's kind of like overkill on this tutorial that's for you guys okay but i will um go to see you guys in step number three where we actually write the lyrics so this is this is a rough draft we got our flow we're gonna we're gonna see you on the next step so again save and a good thing in, in ableton that i've that i a good trick is i go collect all and save especially if you're making beats this is really helpful collect all and save and what that's going to do is going to take all of your recorded audio files and make sure that they're in that folder because sometimes if you're going to work on a hard an external hard drive or at your friend's house or at a recording studio you want to make sure that all your files are there because sometimes what, what has happened to me in the past is that you know i do it do a song work on a song and i try to work on it somewhere else and i'm missing files and in the ableton there's a little thing box that comes up and it says like hey we're missing files where are they and then you're like what the fuck <laughs> so anyways you that you know want to you know uh in 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 music production you want to be very very organized very very methodical so things like that don't happen you know so you're almost like like uh you know like a process you know like robot like like cover your ass especially if you got a rapper that you're working with you know if you're producing and they're paying you you want to make sure that you know as a professional you got you covering your ass you know there's no technical errors are going to mess up with your money okay so um there it is i'll see you guys in step number three where we write the lyrics and this is Hip hop song from start to finish. Chateau Cholo, Gustavo Dorfuribe. Thank you for watching.